We have confirmation of engineering packets and a time packet. Flight rover. We have rover data. Yeah! close by object that moves against the background so it's very hard for us to line I think uh, our uh, excitement continues today uh, for those of you who've been listening in on the voice net uh, you can tell that uh, this morning has uh, been an interesting or this afternoon uh, has been an interesting afternoon already uh, we've, we've just completed a transmit uh, downlink session on the spacecraft in which we got uh, a number of interesting uh, uh, results uh, lead, led by the fact that uh, we're now receiving communications from the rover that to you. Uh, we will in any case have commentated. We feel like we're actually, once we get this next set of data down, that we're really able to then go on with the remainder of the day's activities, um, picking up where essentially where we left off yesterday. Well, we've looked to the, this is turn around and look more towards the north. Okay, we think we're up here. And notice how close we came to a rather large crater. It's very close. Assessment. And the other rock we find interesting. We also see, if you look closely, that the soil is not all the same color, that there's areas that are um, more uh, bright, brightly colored and areas that are darkly colored. So there's definitely two different types of soil here. That may be that some of the soil is brought in by a wind process and dropped onto this scene and therefore isn't really <laughs> native to this area. Or it may be for some other reason. These are areas we hope to send the rover over the next uh, week or so. We're really anxiously awaiting some actual atmospheric data with our solar filters, which are going to tell us precisely what the optical depth is and how it changes during the time of day. And then we'll be able to make very quantitative assessments of what's going on in the atmosphere. Upper pedal. Uh, one is this rock here. And we're going to take some close-up views, I believe, tomorrow of this rock with all of our filters and try and make a scientific... Not only did Sagan inspire the general public, he, uh, he spent a lot of time here at JPL. He was uh, a participating science on many of the missions. And he inspired all of us, all of us rocket scientists here at JPL as well. And the other rock we find interesting is this sort of tabletop rock over in this direction. 